Maybe today I accept something into my heart that I have been trying to ignore for so long. Maybe I accept that the cringe corridor is just never gonna work. The first room, though thematically appropriate, just gets smashed to pieces. The maze is too confusing for their poor little Rimworld porn heads. The hot and cold rooms are either too hot or too cold, but neither enough to kill anyone. <laughs> and then, blueberries. And then blueberries. And the truth of the matter is the AI are, uh, is either far too smart and runs through the maze and steals my radiation chamber or is incredibly stupid and can't make it past the first room. There has not been a single middle ground except for the first time we tested it. Ever since then, it's been a cacophony of failure. So I think I have to do something that will break my little heart. I'm going to do it. I'm going to press the button. Today, we say goodbye to the cringe maze. The Milky Maze itself. The Milky Maze that was so much of a maze that the AI could not find their way through. We say goodbye to the Acid Garden. The Irradiation Chamber, quite frankly, never worked, so I'm not upset about that one at all. You can just leave. And then the Blueberries. My sweet, precious Blueberries. They're blueberrying up in heaven now. They're blueberrying up in heaven. I mean, we could just reinstall it and put, like, a shotgun on it or something. <laughs> Does, doesn't seem very wonka, though. You remember in, in Willy Wonka where they walked into the room and then Veruca Salt got blasted in the face with a shotgun? Yeah, me neither, funnily enough. Now we make a difficult choice for the man that is Mr. Cringe. Would the total failure of his vengeance make him double down? Would it make him even worse still? Sidestepping the theme and the whimsical nature of the cringe corridor and just going to straight up torture a murder and maim and kill a murder or maybe just maybe this could be a redemption arc this is where the timeline splits this is where we either get good mr cringe or bad mr cringe or mr cringe that merges with the war cast gets a little weird i mean he's shouting what a wonderful world as he walks past some corpses so i mean <laughs> I feel as if my feel as if my decision has been made for me there. Thank you, cringe. Someone died times three. He's very happy about that. He likes blood sports. Maybe I've gone about the entire cringe corridor wrong. Oh, oh, nothing can remove thick roofs. You say? How strange. There seems to be something here saying thick stone roof removal. Oh, or like compound bows, I suppose. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, and on the subject of over-the-top projects that are going to amount to absolutely nothing, we have one of the many milkable looper warrants. I mean, they're not milkable right now. Well, I mean, I suppose technically they are, depending on your definition. <laughs> so like I was saying, we definitely can't remove thick stone roofs. Maybe, just maybe, we took the wrong parts of Wonka. I was so concerned about things, like trying to keep things on theme, you know, like a big, a big chocolate oven analog there with the freezing room and the cold room. The maze where you were pumped full of drugs and saw weird shit going on. No, no, no. I'm paying attention to the wrong things. There are two things we know about Wonka for definite. A, he enjoys torturing children, but that's just, I mean, that's his business. That's a bit weird, but that's his business. And B, death games, tournaments. The golden ticket was just a big, a big death game. Kids eating themselves into an early grave so they could try and find a delicious golden ticket. Rampant, irredeemable, diabetes and childhood obesity rates sweeping through the nation. And then the five children that were finally chosen, what happened to them? They were picked off one after another through sick challenges that he knew they could not ignore. He didn't he didn't lead them through some maze that was designed to kill them. He engineered their deaths of their own accord, my friends. I think we need some blood sports. Except to reiterate, this isn't going to be children because Wonka is a, a sick, sick, irredeemable man. Whereas we're just like a, you know, like a modestly sick, irredeemable man. <laughs> <laughs> that Wonka is going to the deepest depths of hell. Mr. Cringe is like down there, but not too far, you know? Oh, look, everybody. We've been joined by our fifth and final contestant. Wow. That's from our uh, warrants, of course. And we do have one more warrant active for Condor as a, as a backup, so to speak, just in case anything happens before I'm finally able to achieve the real spirit of Wonka. Oh, don't run away. Oh, you fool. Oh, the turrets aren't interested. <laughs> Why would they be? It's just an escaping prisoner. Just an escaping prisoner punching those very same turrets. Not very intelligent, is it? Sprinkles! Bring him down! Oh. Hey! A warrant with place on the colonist, which increases raid chance until the warrant is paid off. 
For torture? What do you mean for torture? Uh, capture him though? That doesn't count. That it would. <laughs> oh my god, whole body paper cut extreme. What? I'm sorry, but I can't allow anybody to escape. We have five prisoners and I need five prisoners. Why are they saying so much stuff? What the hell's going on? So, what is it exactly I've been working on here? Why, why is this episode so late? What has taken this much time to build? Temper your expectations. A, a, a lot of work went into laying the foundations for this kind of literally rather than the actual thing itself. What if there was a way to simplify the whole thing to have a tournament for a golden ticket that didn't rely on ridiculous over the top traps that barely work, mazes that are too long for the AO. What if we just did it the old fashioned way? The first thing I ever did in RimWorld was this very same idea, the first ever series on this channel. And that, my friends, was a big fuck off arena. Uh, I had to, you know, kind of terraform the entire cave to do it. Goodbye, cringe corridor, and hello, cringe pentagon. <laughs> <laughs> Name pending. We might need something slightly better than that. We have five separate rooms, all of which I'm going to outfit with beds and, and some sort of food dispenser if we can fit it in. Essentially, five little tiny prisons, all of which have submergible walls and all of which we're going to fill with prisoners. Five prisoners when we've captured them, of course. Put them in there, give them a berserk chip, let them juke it out. Let them fight their way to get that golden ticket. It doesn't really make much sense because one could kill the five kids off to try and get the factory, not the ticket. The ticket let them join the death games. Suffice to say, it took a staggering amount of effort. <laughs> like that was that was one of the longest things I think that's ever taken me to build. Taking apart all the old crap, removing the thick roof, laying all the all the terraforming stuff. It took a bloody long time. And of course, the research we need to actually get there as well. The best part is it's not even finished. But we haven't got to worry about fires. We haven't got to worry about pathfinding issues. We haven't got to worry about about anything other than just loading the prisoners in, which is why I specifically left enough room for a bed, because otherwise it's a bit of a pain in the ass. And we're just going to have a fun old time. Now, there is a way in ideology to... to uh, Sorry, ideology. <laughs> there is a way in the ideology to set it up so that we can have, essentially, an arena, right? The problem with that is it's... It's kind of small, and you can only have it between two people. So here's my plan. The next raid that turns up, we capture five people in this case we've already got five people of course we enslave those five people we give them all berserk chips we put them in the little rooms then we open the door when we're ready for our arena fight to begin we'll have to sell some tickets you know make, make a little bit of a side business here and when we filled those seats and sold enough very overpriced popcorn we drop the walls we activate the berserk chips and they kill one another and i think it'll just be It'll just be great to watch. I am looking for ideas or inspiration for anything to add to the arena. Right now, like I said, it's just bare bones. It's just the foundation. Gonna put in a few... Uh, someone let me to this mod that was uh, like like submergible turrets as well. Like any turrets, though. So we could add in... Uh, let's take a quick look here if I could find the security section. Am I losing my mind? Oh, look at this. The person who made the fan mod has added in fan... So we've got the regular fan turrets. Fan minigun. That sounds ridiculous. Fan turret toxic. Oh, that's cool. Hot and cold. What, so those apply, I, I would assume, regular damage, but they also give heat stroke or or frostbite as well. We'd have to try it. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Now, the boulder launches too. I haven't really found much for that, much use for that one yet. I was going to make a kind of comical Indiana Jones type thing, but that sounds really, really cool in this arena. And I guess we'll go, I mean, there is a manned boulder launcher, which would be incredible. We could maybe sell tickets to that. Um, I do think the boulder turrets, though, if we could pop those up, if we can make those submersible, would be incredible. So let's throw down a couple of those. That way, if the if the fight goes on for too long or something like that, we just pop the turrets up. <laughs> and then for the end of the fight, whoever wins, we need to throw down some tranquilizer turrets here. This is what I was talking about. We'll throw down a couple of these and make sure that either the winner or survivors i suppose are taken as safely as possible just in case someone is maimed but like knocked down but not enough to kill them wait wait where did the boulder traps go hello was oh <laughs> <laughs> oh it's so tiny and actually if we get the right combination of submersible we could just use all those ideas we had in the cringe corridor hot and cold and clown room and whatever else and we just pop them out there. We throw down the Lego, the drawing pins. We make a blueprint so that if they do step on it, or maybe it'll just be automatically rebuilt. I'm not entirely sure. We can make this work. We can make this like a proper little coliseum. And now I just need something to represent the, the, the golden ticket. And of course, whoever wins will be given the golden ticket. The ticket in this case is a ticket to their freedom. 
any other survivors, any people who aren't killed in there, which will probably be all of them, to be honest, because, I mean, they're, we're not going to give them weapons. There are going to be a few traps, but nothing, nothing lethal. It's not kill bots, right? The survivors, we could harvest raw organs. We could turn into milkers. And then, in turn, be actually finally able to make that milk chocolate. That'd be quite nice. I'm looking forward to what we can do with this. And it needs a lot of work. Like I said, some of the furniture needs to be changed. We need more of a chocolatey theme. You know, it, it's very kind of industrial right now. So, we'll, we'll spruce it up. We'll throw down some candy cane trees and that type of thing. Make it a bit more whimsical. This is going to be fantastic. All we have to do is get all these guys enslaved. Then we can test it out. These poor people we put warrants on just to essentially... To essentially test out a killing room. Still got a medical emergency. How? Life-threatening paper cut. Extreme. <laughs> I guess that would have actually killed him. So if you hit with the playing cards enough, it's just an instant kill regardless of how much... How much blood loss you get. That's very silly. I also get the strange impression that IV drip might not be working given that his food is dropping down. It says intravenous therapy and nutrition, but then it doesn't actually do anything. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure that's actually actually doing much. Oh, look at him go. Oh, spinning the cane as well. Oh, this is incredible. He's finally found his stride. Look at that Chad Grouper Looper. My God, he just looks like the meme man, doesn't he? Unbelievable. Oh, Mr. Cringe. Just one after the other. What a guy. Okay, okay, that's Tiger and Toll. For the time being, they can just help out around the factory. You know, we'll just leave them as they are. Ah, oh, and there's Gray as well. Hello, Gray. Mr. Cringe ordered... I don't know how to say your name. To prepare for a life of forced labor. Thank you, Mr. Cringe. Now, we've only got one person left. Why are you not being enslaved? Oh, you still got a life-threatening paper cut. Wait, what? How long does this take to disappear? Paper cuts. That's really, that's really helpful. Well, it's on 60% now. I mean, I might have to throw him in a... I don't know, I guess in like a regeneration cycle or something like that. Well, I think it's fairly safe to say we have paper cut this man into a permanent coma. <laughs> I knew sharpening those cards would pay off. I mean, that's okay. I feel a little bit annoyed having gone to all the effort building a bloody pentagon. We've only got four people to test it with. We put out another warrant. I guess we'll put out another warrant on someone. Uh, they want a group of loop nation uh, 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 trying to take out sprinkles. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm not going to pay off group elimination. What am I thinking? Why, well, yes, this grouper is wanted for kidnapping. Uh, what do you mean, what kid? Uh, our kidnapping. <laughs> oh, shit. Finally, he got better from his lethal paper cut. So now we can, we can test out the arena. So I did a little bit of decorating just to make it a little bit nicer. Got to gotta try and get the guests over here. Got to sell some tickets after all. When I get a little more time, I'll try and spruce it up. I'll throw down a little stand that sells snacks. Of course, those snacks will be entirely entirely chocolate we've got a lot of we've got a lot of shift i'll try and add something else interesting here other than a shitload of trees <laughs> oh he's done it mr cringe finally we can begin oh i mean except we can't because we don't have the brain chips yeah no that is a slight problem oh god <laughs> ah, what is going on there why is it not splitting hey it splits there it splits there why is it not splitting down into... I don't understand. I think I may have made the factory worse than ever. Look, it hasn't got the cocoa. Wait, why has it not got the cocoa? Hey? Oh, my pushes have reset. Why has this happened? Not all of them, just some of them, though. Oh, I may not never financially recover from this. Horrible. What we need is a splitter like here that recycles it back to the top. And, and does another input there. You know, that might not be a terrible idea. If we put it... We need we need it just wherever it's gonna, gonna overflow, right? This is by far the least efficient way to solve a problem that could be more easily solved by moving the tracks around a very tiny little bit. But I'm far too stubborn for that. So in theory now, the truck that will be evenly distributed, and if it overflows, then it goes back into the belt and cycles around. Which is exactly what it's doing. This much genius is sometimes a terrible, terrible burden. <laughs> and this is about the moment where I reveal that actually we're not going to be able to use the arena for bloody ages because we don't have nearly enough research to do that. So actually, I think brain surgery might be a prerequisite. We need the berserk chips, right? They're definitely on there. I saw them earlier. Berserk. Berserk. Be berserk? 
Am I going mad? Oh, Berserker chip. Well, anyway, that there it is. Uh, we need combat improving bionics, advanced combat improving bionics, mind altering bionics as well. And as I said, this is meant to be lower tech. We're not going to be using this as an excuse to turn all of our lumpers into bionic monsters, okay? The only... What? We're only doing this for the purposes of entertainment. Mass entertainment here in my Coliseum. So it turns out we can't hide the tranquilizer turret. So I've just put some pop-up walls around them. God, I feel terrible for whoever buys that seat. <laughs> so I put some walls around them. Put a little console that Mr. Cringe can sit there and oversee the entire arena. But the boulder traps actually work with the submerge mod. So you just hide them underground and then you unborrow it. Unfortunately, the boulder traps themselves are tiny. Absolutely tiny. I also want to test out how they work. So let's just... Let's bring in a volunteer here. Actually, I think what I will do so I can actually find the bloody things easier is put down <laughs> some factory tiles below them so we know what to look for. Hello, friend. Right, okay. Uh, let's do one of, uh, one of, no, 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 one of these. And then just go ahead and unborrow all of those fellas. Very nice. And then uh, boulder turrets. So just, just give me those a second. And then you can't manually aim them. So you know what? Never mind. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to wait till we get a Berserk chip. I assume it will attack them if they go... I mean, if they go into a murder spree. You kind of hope so. Oh, speaking of economic boom, how's Aunt Lubricants doing? I feel like I haven't checked it in so long now. Mainly well, because I've been sat here building for years of my life. That's okay, Spoonie. That's okay, Spoonie. I understand. I get it, my friend. Mm, makes me wonder if, if I installed like an early version of the model because I've added it mid-save, whether that's had some impact on it because... um. Still hasn't changed at all, has it? Is this graph? Oh, brilliant. <laughs> yes. No, yeah, that does seem about right, actually. I think what I'll do then is I'll probably cash out of our lubricants. Call me a coward, but I'm gonna go ahead and take my stocks back if that's okay. Sorry, Aunt lubricants. I thought I'd buy the dip and then try and cash in, but it really just hasn't gone anywhere, has it? All right, we've got 51,000 silver back in the bank now, so we could always try and do something with it. Oh, <gasps> A happy day. They want to buy 21,000 bars of chocolate for 60,000 silver at 222% markup. Let's complete the contract and hope they actually manage to take the chocolate this time. They arrive in three days. Okay. Make sure you have enough items when they arrive. We absolutely do. Yes. The payment will close once the caravan leaves your area. That was the problem we had last time. They couldn't... Uh, more specifically, it took so long for them to load the caravan up that they were all starving to death. So... Let's see what happens here. How, how much chocolate do we have? Wait, do I... How much did I just agree to sell them? Do we have enough? Wait, what? 32,000. Ah, oh, ah, oh, it's all for sale in here. Got it, got it. Given that we're going to be waiting a long, long time, let's just do a trial run. Let's just, let's just give it a go. So let's pretend we filled every seat in the house. We've got loads of guests here. They're super happy to see the, see the arena. They've all got their chocolate bars. It's going to be fantastic. Mr. Cringe says something over the microphone. Probably terribly cringy then we submerge the walls so that's gonna be a pain in the ass to also not do that and um unleash the tranquilizer turrets but that's okay we can actually count it down too i like it at that point we, we'd already have driven them berserk at this stage right they, they'd already have gone mad so we're just gonna i'm just gonna pretend that they've all gone mad here and i'm gonna get you to punch you you're gonna punch you and then you are gonna punch you and then you're gonna punch you oh and then you've got to punch you and they're off in this very legitimate arena battle what if they all move at the same speed they're going to be running like this forever. <laughs> oh, what a show it is, though, huh? Everybody's got their target, and they're in. What a showdown. What a fight. Now imagine, midway through, door pops back. What's inside? A very hungry polar bear, or maybe a lion, even though there are no lions in Rimworld. Weird things happen, like bits pop up from the stage, dividing up the arena. Or we, or we add in some traps, some more of those submersible turrets. They pop up and fire off. I don't know, some tear gas or something like that. Give them a little stun. It's absolutely limitless what we could do with this. We, we could throw in so many little strange permutations to the arena. Who's going to get that golden ticket? It's between Grey and the man who was almost paper cut to death. What a character art that would be. Oh, it was Grey. Wow. And then, of course, we'd reveal the tranquilizer turrets. We'd tranquilize whoever's still up so that we can safely go in there and dispose of those who failed. I love that it was so boring, everybody's walked away. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to make good on my word. You, my friend, you get freed. Thank you for helping us out with this. Mr. Cringe is merciful. Goodbye, Grey. You've earned your freedom, my friend. Ideally, you need to be doing a bit more singing and dancing, you know, about how you got your golden ticket. 
I mean, or you could just walk away. Limp back to your base. Sadly. <laughs> it took me a second to work out what was happening, but this is the sale from the chocolate, right? They must be they must be here on the map somewhere. Whoa. Okay, or, well, obviously not, because you want to get paid when they leave, genius. And that takes us up to roughly 110,000 silver in the bank of the commonsocracy. Uh, the debt is currently at 4.2 million, so we're, we're still doomed. <laughs> we are still absolutely unequivocally doomed. But that's a great day for Mr. Cringe. That was the biggest chocolate sale we've ever, ever made. I need to make sure I'm checking these contracts more often. I need to see if there are any other chocolate derivative contracts. So selling cocoa is fine. Obviously, selling chocolate is better. But if they want the Mr. Cringe bars or the uh, kind of drugs-based chocolate, that would be something that we could absolutely do as well. Wow, look at the markups on some of these, though. Good Lord. I feel like we need to get into the jump pack business. 20 jump packs for 150,000 silver. 500 green candy logs modest tribal mask. Oh. Now look, 3,600 hot chocolate. And they want they want 3,600 hot chocolate. They'll pay 114,000 for it. I mean, that's absolutely something we can make. 3,600. Okay. I don't think I've ever made this before. Hot chocolate. And it's just chocolate milk. Ah, oh, shit. Well, am I going to bite the bullet? Am I going to start growing vegetable milk? It would open us up massively to so much more profit, not only with the, with the factory itself, but with things like that. Other chocolate derivatives seem like a good idea. We're kind of limited to just the cringe bars right now, which are obviously fantastic, but... Okay, okay, here's the plan. Let's build another barn entirely. Although, we could exploit these exploited natives in another way. We can't milk the loopers because they need a they need a patch, basically. The mod doesn't work with, with loopers until we patch them. The the milking mod, that is. But these exploitive natives thoroughly milkable. <laughs> Could just bait them into the arena. Just bait them into the arena. Just bait oh, let them let them in. Let them in. Open the door. Let them in. Are the turrets active? They absolutely are. Uh un unveil my boulders. Not that you can <laughs> not that you can see them even now, but you know. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. My god, how is this more effective than anything else we built in the cringe corridor? Get him tranquilizer turrets. Get him tranquilizer turrets. What are the boulder traps even doing? Actually, fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Okay, tranquilize moderate. Oh, there's different levels of tranquilizers. Hey, there's one down. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, you guys can stand out here. Let's, let's crack this open. And let's just let the tranquilizer turrets do the work. Unless that blows up and takes them all out. At which point I'll be very disappointed. But you know what? Okay, that's a bit of a problem. We, we've caught two already. We still might be able to make the hot chocolate. Just don't ask where we got the ingredients from. Is it ethically sourced? Well, no. No, not really. I am on the journey to make the least ethical milk going. And this... Well, this really will do it, huh? So we've just got to knock you... So you're down already. Or at least you're, you're tranquilized. Oh, look at that. And when they... Oh, that's incredible. So there are different levels of tranquilizing. And even just hitting them with one dart is enough to kind of knock them down there. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, Well, let's get in kind of tidy things up here. Oh, this is amazing. We captured so many people from that. How is this already better? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of pissed off. Given the amount of work that went into the bloody cringe corridor. I just expected too much of the AI. All I had to do was open a door into an arena and they were flinging themselves in head first. Oh, this looks like fun. Meanwhile, I give my whole maze a whole trap and they get... They, there's just no chance. I'm not sure the boulder... I'm not sure the boulder turrets work. <laughs> oh, it's just spawned in a boulder that I now can't do anything with. Fantastic. Oh my god, look at it. Oh, this is fantastic. I mean, the honest... Uh, the, the room being flooded with vomit. The, the vomit tsunami isn't fantastic. Not really very sanitary uh, hospital conditions, I will admit. But that, though, this is a lot of people. Wow, it really is just non-stop vomit, isn't it? Oh, God. <laughs> so we've got enough candy cane, white chocolate, all of that type of thing to last us a long time. Like, a really long time. I'm thinking we get in on the chocolate trade. With the upgraded bars of cringe chocolate with things like uh, Yayo, maybe. I, I don't want it to just turn into selling drugs again. We've done that once or twice or, you know, like a dozen times before. But the ambrosia, though, would make a lot of sense. I don't know if there is a way to... Uh, there's a lot of research we haven't done yet. But I don't know if there's a way to actually grow ambrosia with what we have access to. We could, I suppose, get some dryads going. 
That might not be a bad idea. Either way, I'm going to throw down some psychoid plants. We're not we're not just going to make drugs with it, okay? If we make wake up, put that into our, into bars, that's that's acceptable. I think that's that's an alright amount of steps detached from just doing a drugs trade, right? And in fact, we could have that aspect in the factory too, right? We'll have to make a little room for it, but I'm pretty sure there's a drugs powderizer. Uh, factory. What we got? Cheese press. <laughs> Maybe that's something we're missing out on. Medicine granulator. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, no, that's a fair point. So the drug powderizer powderizes psychoid and then packages it for use later or selling. That's pretty much exactly what we need. And in fact, we can have that hooked up within the actual chocolate line because it will eventually lead to that. So I think, I think that's more than acceptable. And we're just going to have to wait on the whole unethical milk sourcing front because the drug slab to make the lact max, I think we need luciferium, right? Yeah, so we're either going to have to wait for Lucifer to pop up, or we're going to have to wait for a trader just to sell it. So the next time we get an exotic goods trader, I'll have to have to triple check that one. But in the meantime, why not load it full of drugs? The Mr. Cringe way. How much have we got then? 1,684 cringe bars? Maybe I should just start putting those up for sale, huh? I've just read a comment that may blow this campaign wide open. Somebody said that I set it up in the Idea Legend. So that, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Are they wrong? They better not be wrong. Ah! Dating aliens is forbidden. No, that means that creme brulee and Mr. Cringe's love could never have happened. They, they, they enjoyed each other's company. There was all of the, all of the rejections going on, but nothing could have ever happened from it. God damn it. Now, the reason I set that up, of course, was to stop Mr. Cringe falling in love with a group of looper, because that is disgusting. But a slimy girl? Maybe that's a slightly different case. And besides, there is a button that I've never pressed before. I saw well, this one here. Uh, I mean... I don't want to press it. <laughs> I don't want to press it, but I feel like you would never forgive me if I didn't press it. So, you know. Or G organizer sprinkles. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, this isn't too bad. It just looks like it might be a reskinned speech, and that's a lot more acceptable than what I thought. It. Oh, good God! What is he doing to that chair? Ah! The speech bubbles are disappearing. I can't show that bit. <laughs> this might be the worst thing I've ever seen in Rimworld, and I've seen a lot. I... I'm, I'm actually just in awe. I'm in awe. This is a nightmare. This is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> Good. Good, yeah. Wow. Am I, am I allowed to show that on YouTube? <laughs> is that is that something we're okay showing? Am I, am I gonna get in trouble? We spent so long having an orgy, they still haven't finished the freaking greenhouses. We've got so many crops to make. that has been a weird turn for Mr. Cringe. We've got an arena where they fight to the death. We've started growing drugs for the purposes of powderizing them and putting them into delicious chocolate. And we've ended it with an orgy. We've ended it with an orgy. I and now there's a civilized but I just I just don't know. I was about to say the words that's a great place to leave it and we'll deal with the civilized bureaucracy tomorrow, but I'm not sure it is a great place to leave it. I, I I'm gonna leave it, but I'm not sure how I feel about any of what just happened. I suppose that all I can and shall and will say is Thank you all for watching. What a horrible, what a horrible day. Thank you to Jonathan Cambron, Tia Azafail, Shadowblade, Castle, Jama, I Am Secretaire, Shadow1317, Poseidon, Sion, Lee Zero, Dang, Lee Wang, Turtle Boy, Ryan, Dietz, Cream Bath Morda, Ethox, and Highly Caffeinated Gamer UK, along with everybody, everyone at the, I can't even speak, it. I've lost, I've lost it. Uh, everybody at the Executive Producer Tears over on Patreon, thank you all for making this possible, for better or worse. Thank you, in addition to Sharp, Raylengar, Blackframe, Cass, Salakin J, Dion, Larry the Emu, Betamus Max, Psy Chaotic Burst, Smegma Dave, No PM, The Gentleman Ghost Renault, Mellow, My Sweaty Rim Rim, Nigel, Donald to Snarf, Marcus Absent, and Big Booer as well.